whether you've been using Acumatica for a while or are considering Acumatica for your company's ERP system, you may be curious about how to import items into Acumatica. Perhaps you have a lot of recurring vendor AP bills, customer AR invoices, or inventory items. Acumatica has some simple tools to help you with this. Your first step to importing an Acumatica is by using something called Import Scenarios. I just used the universal search at the top, selected Import Scenarios. In my demo system, I'm going to search for various import scenarios that have already been created for me by Acumatica. If I take a look at all of these, you'll see lots some AP, some AR imports. For this example, let's import some inventory stock items. I will select that import scenario. It looks a little daunting, but this is how it is set up, telling you which fields you are going to put into an Excel spreadsheet and import them into the inventory stock item. If I look in the upper left-hand corner in files, it will show me that there is already an Excel spreadsheet that has been set up as a template. I just simply need to download this, which I have already done, and save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. Then simply open it up. Let's take a quick look at the Excel spreadsheet. Notice this one has a few different tabs here. There is a template tab, and there is a data tab and a data e-commerce. The e-commerce just has a few more columns over here in case these were inventory items that you're also using in e-commerce. Data doesn't have as many, and then there is the template. You simply would modify this Excel spreadsheet to be used in what scenario is appropriate for what you would like to import. For the sake of expediency, I have already done that here. And let me show you what I have added. I have just added a, one inventory ID starting with a TST for test 1234 will be my inventory ID. A short description, item class, I made up some prices and some other ideas. So before we import this in, this is a recommendation. You would always just start with one item to make sure it works. So let's close out of that and take you to the next step. So that is your first step is making sure your import scenario is set up. Once your imported scenario is complete, you need to go to import by scenario. In this import by scenario, you will first select that import scenario you had already created or was created for you. In this case, I have my import in stock items here. Now this is showing the last import I did. Since I have a new file with new information, I will want to choose upload file version. Let me go ahead and select my file here. I did a test inventory and upload that. As soon as it's done being uploaded, which is two seconds, you will next click on the prepare button, which is going to read the data in your file and show you what is there. The final step is you will just want to import it. This took all of two seconds because there was only one, but notice any item that was marked as active after it's imported, it is marked as processed. It is that simple. Now let's go in and check our inventory and see if my item was placed in there. So I'm going into my stock items. Let me just do a quick search for TST since that's what I started it with. And there is my inventory item that had been imported in there. So this was an extremely high level overview of importing. There is obviously so much more to understand. In the case of inventory items, the item class here is what determines the defaults for some of the inventory fields, such as item type and default warehouse. So it's important to have those set up first. You may also want to designate a default vendor and include vendor inventory IDs for purchase orders. In cases like this, you would need to create or modify an existing import scenario to ensure all the fields you would like to import are included. This short video could become quite lengthy and involved if I discussed every potential scenario for all businesses. But if you have specific questions for your business, please reach out to your client account manager or account executive. 
Our goal at Prestwood Associates is to get to know your business needs and share our experience and knowledge of Acumatica so your ERP system can help you run a successful business.